What's good, everybody? Professor Peters here with you guys again. We're talking about arithmetic sequences, and we're going to focus on how to use and solve with the explicit formula. All right. So, difference with this formula compared to our recursive to the recursive formula is that when we use the explicit formula, guys, we can use it to guess any number in the sequence, whether it's the fiftieth term, one hundredth term. All right, when we talk about the recursive formula, we're talking about the next number in the sequence. So I'm going to start off by explaining the different parts of this equation. So we know a of n is the term we are the term number we're looking for. All right. And then a of 1 is going to be our first term in the sequence. Okay? And then when we look at n minus 1, this is going to be our term number as well. So this will be the same number as n. And then d is going to be our common difference within the sequence. Now that we know all that information, let's check to determine if this is actually a sequence. And when we look at each of these numbers and we compare right, the difference, we know that the common difference is going to be seven all across. So this would be considered a sequence, all right? And what they want us to do is to find the 34th term. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do that with two different methods, okay? So our first method is we could just substitute it in real nice and easy. And this is what I mean. So if we're looking for the 34th term, right, we have a of 34, and this is equal to our first term, negative 2, plus 34 minus 1. And we're going to multiply that by the common difference of 7. So now as we start simplifying this problem, we're going to get negative 2 plus 33 times 7. So now we, we, we finish off the problem, and we know we're going to add negative 2 to positive 231. So we know that the 34th term in this sequence would be 229. But what if this problem asked us, hey, Mr. Peters, we want you to first come up with the formula for this explicit sequence, and then we want you to go ahead and determine what the 34th term is. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to erase this in blue, and we're going to go back and come up with the formula first, all right? So let's do that real quick. So when we're trying to come up with the formula, I teach it like this. We're only doing two substitutions, and then we're going to simplify. So what exactly are we substituting? We're going to substitute a of 1 and d. Then we're going to simplify the right-hand side of the equation. So this is what I mean. So a of n is equal to negative 2 plus n minus 1 times d, because which is seven, right? I already determined that. So now what we want to do is we want to distribute, meaning I'm going to multiply seven times n to get seven n and seven times negative one to get negative seven. And then I'm just going to bring down this negative two because we have to combine it with its like term. Now at this step here, guys, understand we're only focusing on the right-hand side of the equation. Right. And we should know or we should have recognized that there are two like terms. Right. So when I simplify this and I write the final equation, we have a of n is equal to positive seven n minus nine. Now we came up with the formula for this sequence. And what we're going to do is this is going to be a shortcut to get to that answer. To that 34th term that we just did. So let's see if this works, right? So we have a of the 34th term is equal to 7 times 34 
and then we're going to subtract 9 from it. So let's let's do some uh quick math real quick, right? We have 7 and we have 34. So that's 28 plus 2, 21. So now we know that we're going to have 238 minus 9. This is what's going to give us our final answer for the 34th term. And once we simplify, we're going to get the answer of 229, which is the same exact answer that we just had. All right. So this is this is what we're focusing on today with the with the explicit formula, I should say. And we're going to do one more example on this just to make sure that you guys understand and can follow along. And if you found this video helpful, we're going to ask that you smash the like button for us and leave some comments down below on some future videos you guys would like to see on our channel. All right, so we're going into problem number two. And with problem number two now, we're gonna go through this a little bit faster. And like I said, it should make a lot more sense now that we're going through it the second time. So our list of numbers this time is going to be six, 12, 18, 24, and 30. Right, and the, we know this. This is going to be a sequence because when we check for that common difference, there is a consistent difference of six between all those numbers. So we know this is a sequence. So I write my formula out. All right, and what we're going to do now is solve by just substituting in. We're not going to create the equation. So, oops. And then before I continue, my bad guys, we are looking for, I got ahead of myself, we're looking for the 13th term of this sequence. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start substituting in and try to solve this. So if we're looking for the 13th term, right, we know our first term is 6 n minus 1, right? We're going to substitute 13 for n. And then we're going to substitute our common difference for d. So now as I simplify, we're going to have 6 plus 12 times 6. And once I simplify this problem, right, it's just basic math, we are going to get 78 as our 13th term, right? And just understand another way of doing this, guys, was just to continue adding 6 until we reach the 13th term. But when we're talking about a, a test or a quiz, that is too much time to be wasting. This is much more effective, right? But before we wrap this video up, I'm going to go back and we're going to try to come up with the formula for this problem and see if we get the same exact answer, right, of 78. So let's go back and let's see if we're going to get the same answer now. So remember, when we're coming up with the formula, we're only going to substitute a of 1, d, right? So we're going to substitute, then simplify, okay? That's the best way I like to, to teach it, substitute and simplify. So now we have 6 plus n minus 1 times 6, right? So we're going to distribute 6 to n and to negative 1. And once we do, right, we are going to have 6n minus 6. So at this step here, we're, we're simplifying now. We, we went through, we substituted, we distributed. Now we need to simplify by combining these two like terms. And when we combine these two like terms, they cancel each other out. And the equation Right, the equation we're going to use would be, or the formula, I should say, is going to be 6n. So now that we have our formula, let's double check to see if we are going to get 78 as the 13th term. So we come over here and we substitute, and now we're going to take 6 and multiply it by 13. And once we do, we know that the 13th term in this sequence is going to be equal to 78.
So when we're talking about the explicit formula, guys, understand there's two different methods for us to solve. We could come up with the formula for that sequence and then substitute, or we could just use the explicit formula, substitute our, a, our first term, our common difference, and the number that we are looking for. We hope that you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please smash the like button for us. Leave a comment down below. And don't forget to join us Wednesday for our live stream session, 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is Professor Peters. Thank you guys so much for joining me today.